Hey guys, I'm Mike Rizzo. Welcome to Catanian. Welcome to East Coffee Coffeehouse. And yes, I do have an extra shot or single shot of espresso right here. All right, so my background, for those of you who don't know me, uh, first off, hello. Uh, nice to meet everyone. Uh, thanks for joining. Thanks for taking a few minutes of your day to check this out. Uh, my background is simple. You know, I'm living the simple life as much as I, as much as I can here in a small town in western Pennsylvania, uh, surrounded by my family, uh, good food, some good drinks, and uh, a lot of fun and adventure. You know, my professional background is I've worked in technology. Uh, I've been everything uh, to a Silicon Valley tech executive, uh, and I've worked for some of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, more recently, in the last half decade, I've transitioned to work more in the environmental space, which is a little bit more fulfilling uh, and I think has a bigger positive impact. Uh, you'll soon find out that I'm pretty much really focused on you know, having a positive impact and doing good and helping others. Uh, but anyway, tech leader kind of turned community entrepreneur uh, in 2000. And 20, right at the beginning of the pandemic, my wife and I, we opened East Coffee Coffeehouse here in Catanning, uh, the first coffee house in the 300-year history of this small town in western Pennsylvania. Uh, my mission in life in general, I live by the motto, live inspired, uh, which to me means to enjoy life and uh, make a positive impact or contribute. So what's the show about? Well, the show, The Extra Shot, this is the first edition, mind you. So there's only one way to go, and that's you know up. I hope you know from here. Right? I, have, I am dying to try a sip of this as well, so you have to excuse me. Uh, excellent. Anyway, I wanted to do a weekly show uh, that talked about small town life and small business, and particularly small town entrepreneurship. And hopefully, and maybe you can learn some from some of my le life lessons, right, or life losses. Um, and uh, hopefully, you enjoy the show. And like I said, you can get some value out of this if you're if you're thinking about moving to a small town if you're a small town person you want to start a business particularly a brick and mortar business like we have here or you just love coffee uh, this might be a great uh, a great show for you guys again once a week if you subscribe to my channel hey it's really appreciated anyway uh, today's show I think is the, the the natural thing to start off with is the advantages of living in a small town of course I've lived in a small town all my life but I've commuted to the city of Pittsburgh uh, for much of my professional career, and uh, I know a lot about the city life and, of course, about small town life. And I think there's a couple of managers, actually three in particular, and I'm going to dive into them right now. So number one for me is simple. It's convenience, right? I mean, why can I sip espresso? It's really hitting the spot. I don't know. But anyway, um, have, you know, work, uh, help my wife with the coffee shop, uh, work full time, and uh, do some other ventures. Uh, it's simple because living in a small town to me provides much more convenience. Well, you might think that's counterintuitive that a city would have more convenience than a small town. I, I don't feel that to be the case at all. First off, I do work from home, so that is phenomenal. I know that most people are, and I think a lot of people hope they'll continue to do so. And working at home for me cut gave me back 10 hours a week, right? I would commute to the city of Pittsburgh. And, uh, you know, that would be a one-hour trip, <laughs> right, one, one way. So right off the bat, there's 10 hours. Uh, but there's other conveniences from living in a small town. It's so simple to, to get to Walmart or Aldi's or, you know, where we get our groceries or wherever. There's a butcher shop in our town. Um, it's so simple to get food and some of these things running errands. Uh, you could walk to where our daughters go to preschool. I could walk to the Y. I can walk to other family members' houses. Uh, to me, it's all about convenience and everything is close by. Uh, there, there are some amenities that we don't have in a small town, um, but for the most part, the essentials of life and family are here um, within walking distance or just a few minutes away, and it gives me more time to focus on doing things um, like working full time or running a coffee shop or spending time with my kids, uh, anything, right? Going outside and um, working in the garden. So convenience is a big thing and a much healthier lifestyle. Um, I think with convenience and, and more time to do what you want to do, I think that ultimately leads to a much more healthier lifestyle. At least personally, I felt that way. Number two for me is community. And um, 
I would explain it like this. You're part of something, and it's tough to explain if you've never – and I feel it more and more ever since we opened a small business. And when we, we basically only support, like, other small restaurants when we go out to eat or ice cream places, right? When you, you feel like you're part of the team, right? I think when you're a fan of somebody, right? I'm a Dodger fan, Juventus fan. A small town person in Western PA, how did they become a Dodger fan? That's a, for another show. But I feel it's like when you root for a team almost, you, there's a sense of community that you just don't get. Like if I'd go to the Chipotle in the suburbs of Pittsburgh, and I don't feel like there's a tie there. I just feel like I'm getting a good burrito, right? But if I go to a place in town here and I'm having a, you know, whatever, whatever I get, I get, I love the Mariner in town. I, we get these beef tacos. So I get beef tacos from the Mariner. I feel like I'm part of the community and I know people there and people come into the shop all the time. Of course, you know, everyone knows me and I, you know, we know what their order is, right? It's just a sense of community um, that I think is more fulfilling and holistic, right? When I work, even in the environmental space, but particularly when we do stuff here for the coffee shop, and we give a lot of money back to the community. But even when we're just up and working in a normal day, right? I feel like we're contributing something, right? We're, we're just providing that little, maybe that little escape for people, right? And it really feels, it feels fulfilling, in a lack of a better term, right? Uh, to provide something for people and people that you know and people that you'll see again. So it is a very enriching thing to live in a small town and interact with people, right? You can live in a small town and, you know, be a grump and don't leave your house, right? And I don't think that's going to be uh, give you a sense of community. But in our case, um, being integral members, being having a small business in the community, and you know, doing things, our kids are involved in this, or we help out here, or we do things in church, right? I think that is a sense of community the whole way around, right? Um, it just gives you a good feeling, and especially a town like Atani, where we've had population loss for I think nine straight decades, and you know things aren't perfect, right? There's a lot of poverty and other issues, right? But when you're out doing things, in particular when you open a small business in town, I think it's so fulfilling that we couldn't get. When we were offered to open a coffee shop in these trendy, gentrified neighborhoods of Pittsburgh, right? And we would have been paid big money by developers to do so, right? Um, you know, but to do it here in our hometown, um, like I said, where there is poverty, where there, where there's, where there's issues, right? And it's not about making money to us. It's more about making an impact. It's really fulfilling, and there's just a sense of community um, that I think you get from a small town that you don't get living in the suburbs, in particular. And number three for me is very simple. It's value, right? I mean, let's not, let's not lie. <laughs> it's cheaper <laughs> to live in Catani, right? Uh, you can buy a 2,000 square foot home, even today, right, um, in Catani for $100,000. Right? If you go 30 miles closer to the city, you're looking at the same home for $200,000, $250,000. Heck, you go to California, a <laughs> million dollars, right? Um, so it's, it's all around cheaper, right? Um, I think the convenience that you spend less gas money, um, yeah, sometimes you have to go places, but not as often as you think. Um, but I, I think it's just the cost of living is, is much better. It's, it's just all around cheaper, particularly when it comes to home ownership or if you rent. Uh, I think it makes a big difference. This actually, this year, just came out. This year is one, the first year, I think, and I can remember that the Armstrong County, the county that we live in, has about 68,000 people. Um, in the entire county, that it has actually seen more people move in than move out, so that is a, a, a great sign. But at the end of the, and at the end of the day, I think one of the I think the reasons why are the three that I labeled, right? I think there's convenience, there's a sense of community, and there's value, right? <laughs> as simply as I can put it, it's cheaper to live in a small town in virtually every case. Um, so yeah, disadvantages why. Well, I would say, well, if depending on what small town you live in, there's some things you don't have access to, museums and sporting events. But to be honest with you, it's 45 minutes from here to the museum. I can be in my seat at a, a pirate game or a Steeler you know, football game in an hour, right? Um, 
So to me, that's not a uh, that's not an inconvenience, right? So those things are easily accessible to us. Um, the airport's an hour and a half away. So if you travel a lot for work, which you haven't done recently, that is one advantage of at least living in this small town. Disadvantage is the airport's far away. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, I see a lot of advantages that help me live a healthier, more holistic life with my family, more enjoyable life, because I feel like I'm contributing um, than I would, I, I think, that, than I would if I lived in a suburb. So that's my three advantages for living in a small town. Again, this is called the extra shot, right? The extra shot here. Uh, I'm going to do this every week. Uh, I'll sip some espresso, Ispiari, Italian blend espresso. Maybe, some, maybe we'll throw in a few uh, guest roasters. I don't know. But anyway, and I'm going to share some insights and hopefully some value for you on uh, small town entrepreneurship and maybe some life lessons in general that you might find useful, and I hope that you do. If you have a question for the show, comment. Please leave your thoughts in the comments, and uh, ho hopefully you'll subscribe. You'll join me back here next week on another edition of The Extra Shot. As I said, there's only one way to go from here. That's up and that's better. Guys, live inspired. Talk to you next week.